Hello class, how you doing? It's little Tommy. Just checking in with you. I know it's been a few days. I've um, been pretty busy lately. Uh, busy, busy boy. Working, working, working. I've just been doing tons of sessions and uh, I got another one today. So I only had a minute, but I just wanted to uh, check in with you guys and show you a couple licks you can work on today. Stuff that I use actually all the time. Uh, one of my favorite tricks. Um, check this out. Uh, say like you got, let's just say you're playing a, a bar chord C, right? If you wanted, if you wanted the third on top, if you wanted to hammer the third on from the second, if you're playing a bar chord like this, you can't really do that, right? So sometimes I'm playing, when I play my bar chords, I'll, I'll play them like ring finger on the bass, little finger on the fifth, and then I'll hammer the second onto the third. It's a great trick and it works great, so check it out. too like when you're when you bounce from the one to the four and you want to play, impose a G over the D I do that which is the same as this second thing, say it was in the key of E, you could do this, I talked about that in an old video, that's another one of my favorite tricks, Alright guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.